Today I'm going to try and refurbish an old spear shaft that I found at the bottom of the ocean. It uh, has a good point on it, it has a good flopper on it. Um, it just is extremely rusty and doesn't have the any of the indentations or cuts that you need at the end of a spear shaft. First thing I'm going to do is going to remove all the rust with my air power die grinder and then it's kind of straight ish. You'll have to bend it a little bit in the middle. But first thing I'm going to do is remove the rust. This shaft is uh, doesn't have any cuts or spots on it for it to launch off the off the spear gun. So I took one of my other shafts, which is also a little bent, um, and I put some markings, measurements from this shaft onto this one. Now I'm going to cut it off here, make it easy even, and then add the indentation here for this. So I got her cleaned up pretty good. Made some marks. So this isn't going to be like a primary shaft. I know there's a lot of pinning on there. It's definitely not straight. This will be a backup to a backup shaft. toasters whether the numbers are uh, the levels of toastiness or time I honestly think they're both because doesn't the time isn't the level of toastiness based off the amount of time
here's my finished product it's not perfect once again this is a backup to a backup but here we are um, initially this is a Mako spear so it's pretty good but there's a lot of pitting on it that I'm just not able to remove you know there's some rust in it but we smoothed out smoothed her out pretty good it'll uh, work in a spear gun so it loads fine everything works so far so good I only have one band loaded because uh, as you can see it needs some love need to repair the bands before I load both of them